welcome back to cad can tutorial today we will see some smart dimension tips many viewers asking me uh, show some tips about the dimensions so here we will see five types of uh, dimension tips so let's see the first one uh, i choose one plane here front plane and i create one arc now i want to define the length of this arc so how we will do it so it is very simple what if you select the smart dimension select first point select second point now see it's showing you a straight dimension now select the arc see it's automatically converted into arc now you can define it 250 that's it so this is the arc length dimension this is called arc length dimension you can simply define any arc length with the help of this two select the first point second point select both the points and select the arc third one and you will see the dimension so this is called arc length dimension let's see the another one now here we will see the second uh, tips angle dimension based on point if you want to define this points angle we will do it in a very easy way so just select dimension now select both the end point of arcs see it shows you a straight dimension now the third one choose midpoint or any reference point where from where you want to define the angle now see this is the angle of this arc define it 90 degree that's it i kept the relation horizontal so you will get the perfect angle and uh, perfect things so this is called angular dimension based on point so this is the second one let's see the third one here the third one is angle dimension using an imaginary line suppose if we want to give the angle to the straight this imaginary line or uh, this straight line so how we will do it choose here a smart dimension select this line okay once you select this line it shows you a straight dimension vertical or horizontal dimensions now select the end point of this circle uh, this a uh, length so i'll choose this end point see once you select the end point you will see the here many a number of arrows this number of arrows uh, defines you the direction of angle so let's choose i'll choose this straight one that's it see we define this angle let's say 45 degree that's it so this is the angle dimension uh, using an imaginary line this is the this x axis is imaginary line so it is always uh, also very useful during your uh, project i i hope you like this so uh, let's see what other now here the third one is dimension to the outside of an arc or a circle so sometime what happen normally when you place a dimension between two circles the solid work shows you the center dimension but sometime yeah, you want to place a dimension from outside of an arc or circle so we will see how to do this one we want to keep the dimension outside not the center so let's choose a smart dimension now press shift key and select the outer part of circle not inner make sure outer outside from where you want to take the dimension now i select the outside now again the select this next circle from outside see see this is very useful techniques to put any dimension between two circles if you need from outside normally it is uh, uh, we are uh, rarely we use this technique but i hope you like this 250 mm that's it so it is very useful technique let's see other the last one now here we want to take the dimension but first we have to find the sharp virtual sharpness of this line length where it going to intersect so let's see choose the smart dimension and right click this line and here you will find at the bottom find intersect when you select this intersect select this line see you will find a virtual sharp point here so we are going to take the dimension from this point again right click on the second line 
find intersect select this line okay now see this is uh, this is what the how we will find out this virtual sharp point of this geometry and put the dimension automatically so this one you can define it 150 that's fine so this is also one of the method you can use during your project your assignments so i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects if you have any comments just write down below i'll try to answer each and every question thanks for watching